Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Voss, and Spider-Man 3 is currently in production with Tom Holland sharing our first official look from the set. An image of him in the Spider-Man suit, playing it safe, double masking it. Weird, because I was always told in health class that double bagging it was bad. I'm kidding, your face mask should be the thickness of a wall of your home that you didn't leave. But besides the mask on mask, there actually is some interesting clues that we can pull from this photo, which combined with all the other news we are learning about this next Spider-Man film, might tell us a lot about the movie's plot. I'm gonna break down all the new stuff we've learned. Spoiler warning in case any of this speculation ruins your life. Okay, here is this first look. Tom Holland in the Spider-Man suit, mask over the face, captioned, wear a mask I'm wearing too. First off, thank you, Tom. I assume they are adhering to a number of safety protocols, including actors wearing masks in between takes. The Spider-Man suit he's wearing is the same suit he wore at the end of Spider-Man Far From Home, which he assembled in the back of the Stark jet as they made their way from the Netherlands to London. London, and worn in the final scene, swinging around New York with MJ and reacting to Mysterio's doctored footage released by J. Jonah Jameson. I have speculated that as an accused criminal, Peter Parker could get his suit and gear confiscated, but they gotta catch him first. <laughs> Actually, tomorrow we're gonna be releasing an episode of The Big Question where we dig into the actual crimes and legal costs that Peter would be facing coming out of Far From Home. Keep an eye out for that. But yeah, for at least part of this movie, Peter is going to stay in that suit. And it's a good thing because judging from this Instagram, photo, that suit has such great contouring and texturing, they really don't need to enhance anything with CGI, unlike all the CGI enhancements they have to do to me every new Rockstars video. Yes, Tom Holland is wearing a mask here, and yes, one rumored title of this third film is Spider-Man Homesick, but I don't think we need to read into any connection here. The fact that he's wearing a mask in this photo probably isn't a clue to that, because it's also still very possible that the title of the film could be something like Spider-Man Home Worlds, based on on the confirmation that Benedict Cumberbatch, Stephen Strange, is joining Peter Parker in this story. Based on that fact, I still think the likeliest direction for the plot is to tap into Stephen Strange's role as the Sorcerer Supreme, capable of navigating the multiverse, something both of these Avengers might need to do if our theories about WandaVision end up being right, and Scarlet Witch does indeed shatter the MCU into an array of alternate realities. Ned actor Jacob Batalon hinted at some mind-blowing twist is coming in an Instagram story reaction to his reading this script. No. And this is crazy that you can actually see this, but if you zoom way into Batalon's eyes to the reflection of the glowing screen showing the script pages, you can barely make out a glowing void of calmness and peace in which we can take comfort knowing that whatever the future holds, the plot of this film will have minimal impact on our inner happiness. Yeah, I'm kidding. You can't see anything reflected in his eyes. But there is a clue that you might have missed in the image that Tom Holland shared to the far right is the right hand of someone. And based on the clothing there, I have some thoughts on who this could be. One of the Avengers. Ooh, uh, but before I continue, I need a snack on some yummy, healthy cereal. Magic Spoon! Thanks to Magic Spoon for sponsoring this video. See, between being inactive while stuck at home and uh, anxiety-induced binging, my uh, eating habits have not been great lately, but I've been wanting to cut down on the sugar and unhealthy food, but you know, Papa still needs his comfort food, and that is cereal. Lucky for me, there is Magic Spoon cereal. It's just like the tasty cereal of our carefree childhoods, but without the coma-inducing sugar load. Each serving of Magic Spoon is only 110 calories, it has zero sugar, 11 grams of protein, and only three net grams of carbs. It's keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, low carb, and GMO free. Their great flavors include the original four, the fruity, the frosted, the blueberry, the cocoa. Oh, actually, I just got two of the new flavors, the salted caramel and, oh, my new favorite, apple cinnamon. Mm. Over the river and through the woods, it's like digging into some turkey day apple pie. Boy oh boy, I'm gonna be back to eating cereal for every meal of the day. Click the link below to get some Magic Spoon cereal today, and you can build your very own variety box and use my code NEWROCKSTARS for free shipping. You can choose from the best-selling cocoa, fruity, frosted, and blueberry flavors, plus brand new flavors that just dropped, including peanut butter, including cinnamon. So many of you have asked, and now this is the first time Magic Spoon has ever released a new option to build your 
your very own custom box with new flavors to choose from, so don't wait. And Magic Spoon is so confident with their product, it is backed with a 100% happiness guarantee, so if you don't like it for any reason, they will refund your money, no questions asked. So click the link below and use the code NEWROCKSTARS for free shipping or go to magicspoon.com slash NEWROCKSTARS. Okay, back to this first look image of Spider-Man 3 that Tom Holland shared. There is someone on the far right of the frame there. Their arm sleeve appears to hang low over their hand, making me think this is a costume because just from my experience on film sets, set crew workers tend to have their sleeves up, their hands free to handle equipment, not get snagged on anything. You'll also notice there is a circular piece of equipment. I am thinking this is a large industrial floor fan that they often use on sets to blast wind. So my first thought was that this could be the hand of Dr. Stephen Strange. It would make sense with why Peter's still in his far from home suit and give us a clue to a possible opening scene of the film. Like after seeing his identity shared all over the news, Peter could freak out and swing on over to the Sanctum Sanctorum. Geographically plotting Peter's location in Manhattan, he was watching those screens at Penn Station, which is closer to Times Square than 1778 Bleecker Street, which is further south, closer to Washington Square Park. That would make for a dramatic dash south by Peter to the Sanctum, where he could crash in through that window to find Strange and Wong sharing a pint of a hunk of Hulk burning fudge. Fans closely watching the studio set have noticed that Benedict Cumberbatch arrived in Atlanta shortly after Tom Holland and spent at least a week there. If it is Strange or Wong standing with Peter Parker here, the blue screen background and wind machine could suggest they are standing at the precipice of a portal, looking into a vast interdimensional space, a web of life and destiny, or, you know, they use these blue screens and fans for all kinds of sets and backgrounds. So again, back into Ned's eyeball void. Relax, Eric, we don't need the answers. That is the answer. But I should also point out that Doctor Strange's robes actually end with his sleeves wrapped up to fit his wrists snugly, not draped down over his knuckles. But one piece of Avengers wardrobe that does look a bit more like that is the jacket worn by Tony Stark and other Avengers. Tony's sleeves definitely hung that low during the New York battle in Infinity War. And if this movie does expand into the multiverse, a little cameo from Robert Downey Jr. Tony Stark from another dimension, maybe that dimension Sorcerer Supreme even, would answer many fans' prayers. Little, little, little cameo. Or the hand could belong to Wanda Maximoff, whose arm sleeve does end in the glove that covers her fingers. And I do believe that Wanda is going to be a central figure of this multi-title multiverse crisis in the first half of phase four. But look, folks, even with Tom Holland's known affinity for oversharing set leaks and spoilers, I don't think he would be allowed to post a photo that contained any part of an Avenger actor that we'd recognize because the studio knows that the nerds possess like digital profiles of every major MCU character and we can run it against everything. But it is nonetheless very exciting to get these first images of Spider-Man 3. The studio has hinted that we will get some kind of trailer before the end of this year. So what do you make of Tom Holland's set photo, this mystery hand, Jacob Batalon's reaction video, and the speculation over the film's title? Hit us up on our official Discord server, which you can join by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash newrockstars. But the better way to support this channel and get some amazing apparel and accessories for yourself or as a gift is to check out our new merch store at newrockstarsmerch.com. Folks, we got shirts, hoodies, masks you can wear over your Spider-Man mask, a hi, I'm Eric Voss shirt, lots more, newrockstarsmerch.com. Also subscribe to New Rockstars, hit that notification bell, follow me at EA Boss, follow New Rockstars. Thank you for watching. And if you need to find me, I will be doing some deep breathing and unwinding in the Ned eyeball void. I think he'll go into the light. Oh, hey, Janet.